Hey, I'm Del Shanzi, and I'm back with the 304 reasons the flat top is literally the only unit on the market that's designed to address all the issues. So it's the only unit that competent pilots fly. I mean, if you see an instructor using any unit other than a flat top, you automatically know they're simply not competent or just do not understand the sport. I mean, a simple trip and fall on a unit like a Scout and you can literally chop your hands up in the prop or get smashed face planted so hard into the ground that you know one guy snapped his neck and he's now quadriplegic just because people don't know what the heck they're doing and they're not using the right gear. So we are on page 15 of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit to fly. Okay, extra wire in the throttle allow removing and replacing electrical switch without having to open the throttle. So another little thing we hit a little bit on the last page uh, with the, the switch is easily replaceable. So your start kill switch, if it ever starts getting grimy or gummed up, or you know you get sand in there and dirt and dropping it in the wet grass over the years, if it gets sticky at all, you wanna be able to quickly and easily replace this switch. So we leave extra wire in there so when you pop this switch out, you can completely replace the switch without having to open up the throttle. So just one of those extra conveniences that makes it simple to always keep everything working perfectly. Durable plastic throttle grip is lightweight and cannot rust or, or lock up. So the, we custom build these uh, throttles specifically for the sport and they are extremely tough and durable, but they're also considerably lighter. This throttle system was a half a pound lighter than other units that we tested. A lot of them using like the bicycle brake and different things. It's just a lot more weight. So it's all about having the strength, the durability, the ease of use and functionality, but also while being the lightest as possible. Uh, no cruise control for optimal safety. Keep your hands on the controls at all time. A collapse with cruise control stuck on could prove fatal. Like we can watch on YouTube, the guy that got took a collapse with a fresh breeze and he had the big bulky bicycle brake throttle that caught up in the riser that literally locked him into a twist and he was locked full throttle, which caused him to crash and he ended up breaking his back because a fresh breeze has no crumple zone. So very important that you're doing things that are logical. Now, cruise control. I hear about this one quite often. Hey, I wanna have a cruise control. Well, imagine you're flying around and all of a sudden, out of the blue, you take a major collapse. When, if you hold that throttle on, even for one, two extra seconds, it can drastically change the outcome of that scenario. So if you were to go weightless, even momentarily, and you had that throttle locked on, it could turn you and twist you up and cause major issues that you just really don't need to deal with. So it's much, much better to just not use a cruise control on a paramotor. Uh, one of those things, you know, maybe it's a one in a whatever chance of it happening, but every one of these little pieces, it starts to add up. And when you get every little piece and stack all the odds in your favor, obviously it makes you a whole lot safer than units where all the odds are stacked against you. Ultra high quality and flexible tin plated copper wire for maximum reliability, longevity. Again, the wiring we're using is really high quality wires right down just to the wires you use. A lot of people are just using the cheap crap and as you bend it over time, you get a lot of electrical issues and they just fail. So again, the flat top is built with the highest quality in mind, even right down to the wiring, the soldering done by people that know what they're doing. So you're just not having the failure rates of other people. Plus, of course, with only three wires on the flat top, you have a lot less to go wrong. If you've got three or four switches, you have a whole pile of wires, which makes it a lot more difficult to figure out, but more switches, more stuff to go wrong. So keep it simple, stupid. As the saying goes, you wanna have the very best reliability. Intelligent color-coded wire for easy troubleshooting and maintenance that is aesthetically color-coded to match color scheme flat top. 
So, <laughs> yes, the wires are color-coded so that it's very easy to figure out where everything goes and it's set up correctly. Just one more of those little things that add up to make it nice. Um, top of the line, Jaguar throttle cable housing. I touched on this before, but this is really important stuff. We use really high-end derailleur cable housing uh, that has a Teflon coating. So even without lubrication, you just get a much smoother, silky smooth throttle response, which is very important because you'll hear of a lot of people having issues with their units getting locked full throttle. And you combine issues like that with issues with a horrible cage design that doesn't protect the pilot from the prop, and those add up to a lot of serious injuries. So with the flat top, you're using the highest quality materials everywhere to keep the lowest possible failure rate and stack all of the odds in your favor instead of against you. Uh, Jaguar's Leap brand of super slick pre-stretched stainless derailleur cable for throttle feel and control without ever having to lube it, maintain it, or adjust trigger throw because of cable stretch. So again, instead of just a cable, you're using the really high-end bicycle cables that are actually pre-stretched and super slick. So it, it's the cable that doesn't have the ridges on it. It's a smooth out cable, so it's a lot smoother. And of course, it's not gonna bind up like the other cables do. Plus you don't have as many issues internally and it's pre-lube, so you don't have like the cheap issues. Again, it's about, you do not want your throttle sticking and locking full throttle. So the higher quality materials, the less likely you are to have the throttle lock full throttle. Okay, six different types of the world's best heat shrink for maximum quality, strength, durability, feel, and good looks. The heat shrink we're using everywhere, this is another big one right here, <clears throat> is the connection that locks the cable housing into the throttle body. A lot of the units, if you just pull, you can literally rip this clean out of the unit. Again, locking the unit full throttle and causing what can be catastrophic, horrible issues. Here on our throttle, we use an extremely strong, this is a glue heat shrink. So when we heat shrink this down, it is literally glued on. This is so strong, you can literally hang, I mean, you can put a lot of weight on that and you're not gonna tear that out of this. Uh, I've actually had this happen to me on other units where you just stand up and you have the throttle in your hand and accidentally pull against the throttle cable and it just rips the thing right out the bottom of the throttle. So again, it's about using quality and thinking ahead and fixing issues that exist in the sport. It's kind of hard to comprehend. They're selling units that are over 30 year old designs and they haven't even updated simple basic things just that are obvious. So again, you really wanna deal with people that know what the heck they're doing and they're constantly making updates and improvements to keep the failure rate absolutely as low as possible to give you the best safety. Uh, clear vinyl cable housing for very lightweight, snag-free, flexible, durable, aesthetically pleasing, and functional protection for the cable and wires. See-through for visual maintenance and beauty. So you can see through the throttle cable on the flat top so you can see the wires and visually inspect what's going on. But there's many little things about this cable. For one, you want that cable to be lightweight, but you also need it to really protect your throttle cable housing. It's very, very important because if that gets kinked or bashed or stepped on and that throttle cable doesn't give it that you know, protection, you put one kink in here, bam, you just locked yourself full throttle, and now you've got something that can end very, very badly. The next thing is it needs to be very flexible. You don't want something that's so stiff that it's fighting you as you're flying and moving the controls. 
It needs to be completely fluid motion so it's not inhibiting or dampening the feel and feedback that you feel from the glider. So very, very important, all these little things, they just add up to give you the lowest possible failure rate. And that is page 15 of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit to fly. Just little things like that. If you get your throttle locked wide open, which has happened over and over and over, and you combine that with a super flimsy cage, and that's why you've had so many people shredded in props. 304 reasons and ways that the flat top reduces those odds of failure and increases your odds of safety. See you next time.